my turn! Pick on someone your own size! Born a Hey everybody, it's Marshmook here, visiting my Gotham Season 3, Episode 12 review, I believe. This episode was really good. It was better than last week's episode by far, but I feel like there's some things we need to talk about, especially Jerome, with him coming back now. We need to talk about what's going on with Cameron, who plays him, what I thought about his return, and also what this means for the next few episodes of Gotham, because I think we still have some loose ends that we need to tie up, and that they should tie up the show by the end of the season. So let's jump into this review. So, of course, this episode was really great with the characters. Uh, Gotham is always really well with their characters and how much screen time everyone usually gets. Um, they were okay with it in season one, but I think season two really helped them, because they didn't have Fish. I feel like Fish is just a character that isn't bad. Um, I, I've never hated Fish, but I feel like she's really been that one character that really kind of messes up everyone's screen time. So when they got rid of her for this season, it, you know, they started out with her, which is good, but that's another loose end. Uh, and again, we'll talk about that. But I feel like now that we've had Jerome back, Jerome is kind of filling up that fish moony spot. You know, he's taking up a lot of the other screen time. They didn't have too much of a problem with it this episode, but uh, it, it, it could, you know, become that way in the next few episodes. But Jerome is back. So the way they brought Jerome back is that Dwight, who is a crazy, deranged weirdo that we met in the last episode, um, he was actually one of the actors from The Dark Knight, um, the guy who was, one, you know, like the army guy um, that was with Joker. Anyway... He brought Jerome back. Jerome uh, kind of held, you know, Miranda Bachrin uh, hostage for a second. He hold, he held Lee hostage, um, which I thought was also really interesting. And uh, she kind of filled him in on what was going on with Gallivan, Bruce, all these other things. Um, I like Cameron, who plays Jerome. I like him quite a bit. But the problem here is that I think he was trying too hard in this episode to be Joker. I feel like the pressure's on now more than ever. We've gotten Jared Leto for the past few months now from last year. Um, we've gotten, you know, people have been remembering Heath Ledger for his anniversary of his tragic death that happened uh, about nine years ago, if I'm correct. So I think that a lot of people are just still remembering the Joker, and I feel like Cameron feels that pressure, and now he has to be Joker. He has to be the best of the best. And I like what he's doing. Like, he's... He's really great, but I feel like he did way better last season. Um, and I think, wasn't it season one? No, it was season two, I believe. He was just in season two. I don't think he was in season one at all. But anyway, I feel like he's done better last time around than he has this season. And I feel, I feel like maybe he'll get better on throughout the season, but I feel like he was trying a lot harder than usual to be the Joker uh, or Jerome or whatever you want to say. I don't know. But what do you guys think about it? Do you think he's been trying too hard in this episode? I don't know. It seemed like it was uh, a little bit too overkill to me. Um, but I do like how they gave us a nice nod to the New 52. Um, the comics, it's an Easter egg where his face was cut off in the comics. They did the same thing here, except Dwight cut his face off to wear as a mask because he was a deranged psychopath. Um, and I think, no, he stapled his face back with the gun. Um, but he was bandaged up when he uh, had kidnapped Lee. So it was really cool seeing him, like, you know, like that, without a face. And I like how he didn't even ask about it till like, the end. He was like, okay, by the way, where's my face? Uh, I thought that was really hilarious as well. So let's talk about Lee, because we need to talk about her a little bit. So Morena Bachran, I love you to death. I love Morena Bachran so much, especially on Gotham. Um, I actually rewatched Deadpool not that long ago, and I just love anything with Morena Bachran in it. But I feel like they're not doing as well with the character as I hoped they would. You know, I liked when they went with the revenge path. I thought it was a really cool path to turn Marina Bachman dark. Of course, we know that she is dating, or I think she's engaged, or maybe married. I have no idea. But she's, I think, married to Ben McKenzie, who plays Jim in real life. They have a kid together. So I liked how they went with the revenge path. They've taken that back. So I feel like they're kind of going in different directions with the character. I think they can straighten it out, and they probably will. Uh, but anyway, Penguin, now I think this is great. I thought that it was great that Barbara got to do most of the dirty work this time around rather than Clayface, that Barbara turned all the crime families, you know, she's mixing up the pot and making a war. I also liked the funny comedy that she had with uh, Tabitha, option B. I thought that was really great. That was like a fun joke. 
I do think that she is Barbara Quinn, and that I think it was really great to turn Penguin against some of the other crime families. So we'll see how that turns out in the next couple episodes. Um, I think that it's gonna gonna you know be an all-out war soon. Now, Selena, this is actually a really great plot twist. So Selena's mom. Um, happened to be a con woman the whole time. I did not see that coming. I thought this was actually really genuine. They really pulled the wool over my eyes. Maybe because they didn't really focus too much on their relationship in the last episode. And we've just gotten Selena's mom. Selena's mom just came back. And now she's just now leaving. So I feel like they didn't drag out the story long enough. Because even though I was gullible for it, I feel like a lot of people might not have been. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. Comment down below. Were you guys tricked by it? But anyway... Selena found out that her mom was just playing along to steal from Bruce. And now she's both upset at her mom and Bruce because Bruce knew the whole time. So we'll see what happens. Um, but again, what do you guys think about it? Were you guys tricked by it or were you like me and, and just didn't know? But again, it was kind of vague because they didn't, you know, they didn't really give us much to go on in the last episode. Um, now, I did like how Ben McKenzie kind of got back into the whole Gordon situation with Jerome. Dwight kind of like repeated everything that... Uh, Jerome had said the year before, uh, but when Jerome was alive, I thought that was actually really great. That was actually really funny. I love Ben McKenzie right now. I think that he's just doing so well right now. Um, and actually, I would really make him as like a like a, an older Hal Jordan if I could in the DCEU. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there. But I think that they're going to have a lot of fun throwing Jerome back in there. And especially what happened at the end of the episode when Jerome kind of blew up that whole power plant. Um, and every, the whole city went black. So that was, like, really cool. I don't know how I feel about that, though. Like, how, like, one power plant and then the whole city is, like, just done? Like, I don't, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. There's gonna be mayhem. Um, what do you guys think about Jerome? Did you guys like what you saw? Were you like me and kind of thought that maybe it was a little too much overkill? And what did you think about Selena? Did that plot twist get you? Because it got me. Um, and what will happen to Penguin and the crime families. I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below. We'll continue to continue the discussion down there in the comment section. Links are there to my other videos. Links down there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, vlog channel, and gaming channel. I shall be doing a live stream soon. Don't know what it's going to be, but I think I might do a giveaway. Um, but again, don't forget to comment, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.